This is Brad Morton with Morton Design Group here to present the Warwick Residence uh, Backyard Makeover where we're adding a pool and spa to an existing um, area uh, and the existing elements in the yard are the barbecue, the fire pit, this planter wall here, this planter wall over here and the brick decking along the house as well as over here so we're trying to uh, seamlessly add a pool to the project that looks like it's been there from day one and let me show you how we're working on achieving that. Well, here at a three-quarter view you're gonna see a uh, large massing here of grass. This is existing lawn. We are gonna remove the putting green here so we'll pick up some lawn here. I'll be cutting into the existing brick just a little bit to create this nice swoop which comes around and takes us out along a five-foot path to a raised sun deck back here. And that sun deck will allow you to either put a couple chaises or a table to enjoy those great views that you guys have uh, of Cota de Casa there. And then on that raised deck that allows us an elevation to get some water features going. So we have a nice pilaster here with a potted plant, three water features, and then we repeat that theme over here on the spa. Over here you'll see the existing fire pit and I've done a concentric circle uh, around that that uh, allows for some seating. Uh, this area here is going to get a new patio cover off of the kitchen windows. It becomes the kind of outdoor living space and that provides some great views uh, straight out to the pool and to those views beyond. Uh, the pilasters here, I have a combination of a brick pilaster again to match all of the current brick veneer as well as then a 6x6 post with some nice decorative booting and uh, some nice uh, trellis work on that patio to uh, complement the trim on the house. Over here at the barbecue, I am proposing that we put a new granite countertop on this, maybe a stucco veneer. Uh, so that we're not too brick heavy everywhere as we do have a lot of brick going on and then a small soldier course of brick along the bottom for a footrest thought that would be a nice addition and then an umbrella hole here but we have the ability to sit all the way around this now and we have a nice cantilever on this side as well uh, creating plenty of uh, seating space over here we can do a grill do a fridge, you could do a sink again, we could do a side burner, there's all sorts of options there, so we'll just have to discuss exactly what we'd like to see go in there. Over here, getting back to the fire pit, uh, obviously we can place some chairs around here, and then uh, from this zero elevation, we rise up three steps to the raised spa that's up at 18. That spills into the pool, creating yet another waterfall feature effect. I have a little bit of uh, brick decking around the spa to accentuate the spa area and tie in with the existing solid brick decking uh, near to the house, but the balance of the pads are going to be a washed finish natural concrete uh, with some optional scoring and that'll just keep costs down and uh, give the eye a place to rest a little bit. So here another view of the sunning area, just some uh, views back out. I have a little uh, reef step in the shallow end here and then a couple benches, one here and one over here to access the uh, pool, access in and out of the pool. And there's a look from the outside deck back to the house. And then a look over here from the grass area back toward the pool. And then lastly here, I thought we'd open up some planter along this wall so that it's not so stark. Right now it runs all the way to the wall and it looks like it's been filled in in the past. So we may consider that, putting in some decorative plant material and uh, softening that up a bit. So that's my first attempt at the design. I uh, thank you for your patience and look forward to your feedback. Thank you very much.